Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Free Pattern Friday. Yes, I'm going to try and do a Free Pattern Friday once a month. So this is February's. That's if I have patterns to share or I remember to do it. So I'm up very early. So it's still dark outside. I did have big plans for today. I've had two days off. My bosses gave me two days off to recharge my batteries. Yesterday, Thing and I went up to the Tablelands. I visited a craft shop, some thrift shops, some sightseeing. I'll share that with you on my week that was, which I put out a video on Sunday and my yarn adventures. You can see what we got up to yesterday. So very early Friday morning here to share with you the free patterns I have discovered or someone has shown me and um, I thought I'd share them with you. So we'll start with, I am doing Amigurumi Wars for those new subscribers who don't know. Now, Michelle and Michelle's Makery in New Zealand, she's learning Amigurumi. She calls it Baby Steps Amigurumi. So I'm probably toddler Amigurumi or advanced toddler. And I did put a call out to my subscribers for any Amigurumi patterns they thought I might like or designers I might be interested in checking out and Madonna Ballard sent me some email links so thank you Madonna greatly appreciated because I have found one I really like so the site is called my crochet chums pdf amigurumi crochet toy patterns so you sign up free to the mailing list and once a month there's a free pattern that comes out and you can have access to past free patterns. So when I signed up, it was this particular pattern. The love bug. Isn't she cute? Number 67. Now, if you download them, you can either have the US terminology or the English terminology, depending on what you crochet to. This month's was a bald eagle. And this particular love bug is Shrepsky's Catatonia 100% cotton using a 2mm hook. Wow, that's small. But she is cute. I'll try and find you a picture of the back because I really think the back is very good too. Ash looks at the back. That's really cute. I don't know if I have all those colours. But if you're keen and you're very good at Amagrimi, you could make this for someone special or valentine's day there are lots of great patterns once they accepted me to their mailing list and i got access to old free patterns there's so many i saved in a little file for future amigurumi wall months so big thank you to madonna it was awesome now second pattern second pattern i can't take credit for finding or um yet again this was a fellow podcaster I was watching months ago. It was either on Instagram or on her channel where she talked about this shawl or showed pictures. And it's always stuck in my head because I really liked it. So it is Count My Blessing Shawl designed by Ursula Wood, OM Granny Square. She does have a YouTube channel. So a very easy crochet pattern. Look at that. I really like that for some reason. Now, the pattern is really well written, but there is a tutorial to go along with it. And I have checked out the tutorial. It's very easy to follow, very clear instructions. I think this will be high on my project to-do list. Now, I, it's made uh, in the pattern she has um, Red Heart It's a Wrap, 600 metres, which is one cake of it's a wrap and um, you can go on yarn substitute i've recommended them before and it comes up with a list of substitute yarns from your area because i can't get red heart without i um, order it in and get it mailed in so i shopped my stash and i have a Linkcraft illusions cake this is discontinued yarn but very very similar to hit wrap it's like those four strands of cotton and it is a 600 meter cake i have made shawls with this before i had red and pink and more black and gray 
and um, they sell off my craft market really quickly. People think it's really lovely for the tropics. Now, having said that, I do have another cotton cake like that by Peyton's that I bought on my Victorian holiday from Wangaratta Woolen Mills with Janice when we went shopping. Hi, Janice. Um, it is somewhere. I actually bought it as a gift, but I didn't give it as a gift because I had it mailed back and that particular parcel got really beaten up and it looked old and tatty and I just thought it wasn't suitable to give to someone as a gift. It didn't look like a new cake of yarn. I've just got to find it. It's purple colours, so I'm thinking this would look awesome in purpley colourways, variegated colourways. I'm not a purple person, it's not a favourite colour, but I can envision this shawl in that yarn. So I'm going to look for that and put this high up on my project list. Pattern number two. Pattern number three came about because I watch a lot of UK podcasters predominantly talk about the cosies they put around their yarn to keep it together when knitting and crocheting and they're usually made out of like a jersey fabric um i'm not a great sewer with jersey fabric even <laughs> i'm just a straight sewer and jersey fabric takes a bit of getting used to but i did find on ravelry something that i thought could be a great way to test my knitting techniques and here you have it, a yarn cosy. Ta -da! Keep your cake together with this yarn cosy. It's made in four ply or sport weight or really lightweight yarn and it's knitted on da -da -da -da, three or 3.25 millimeter knitting needles. You need about 65 yards of yarn to make one and a cable needle. That's a picture of it out of the cake. Now, there's a lot of detailed instructions and pictures on how to do it, which is what I love in a pattern. I love to see a like a picture of this is what you do and this is what it looks like when you do it because it helps me. But also with this pattern, there are three YouTube tutorials to help you. Right diagonal braid, lateral braid, cable three left. There are three different YouTube links you can check out with this pattern. Now this pattern designer is, and it took me a while to find it because it wasn't on the first page. It is Lynn Sews and Knits. Now it's Lynn Sews and N and Knits. That's her on Ravelry and Instagram. And yeah, if you do make this, make sure you credit the designer. When you make a free pattern, if you can find the designer, always credit the designer um, who did the free pattern. It's just courteous to do that. So that was pattern number three. Pattern number four came about because Zeta's calendar cowl this, for February is... Um, sorry, I'm just accessing my... I'm hoping I can find it on... Yeah, there it is on my iPad because I didn't print this one out because I'm not sure I'd be ready to make this for a while. I've just saved it in my library on Ravelry. Um, so it, her, sorry if I'm repeating myself, February is Black History Month and the Black History colours are black, dark green, red and yellow. And that, this pattern isn't in those colours, it's knitted, but I thought it was appropriate and a little different but would go with it. So it is called the, and I have to get it right, Racial Unity Beanie by Stacey Pamela. Now, I hope it doesn't flare in this light. Can you see that? Uh, it's gone bigger. There you go. Ta da! I'm just not sure my skills are quite there yet to make it, but I do like it. And I like the thought behind the pattern because on the bottom of the blog it goes, now, it says, it's a celebration of cultural diversity and of world's beautiful rainbow of skin colors, along with a call for racial unity 
and lifting up recognition of solidarity with and respect to marginalised and low income communities in a continued effort to empower everyone to obliterate systemic racism. I just thought it was really great. It's in English, it's adult, gender neutral, one size fits most, and she gives you a list of different yarns. So yes, if you're looking for something a little different and want to make a statement, I really think this, and you're a good knitter, this is an awesome beanie to make for someone. There you go. There are my four patterns for Free Pattern Friday in February. Um, so my big plans for Friday today and why I'm up early. I was going to get everything clean up, all my chores done, and I've got the house to myself for a couple of hours, for quite a, most of the day. And it was going to be brioche knitting Friday for me. I am doing a Stephen West brioche knitting workshop and I have a project that requires two colour brioche. I'm not too bad with one colour, but I am struggling with two colours. And I thought, this is it. This is when I'll do it. I've been nervous about it. Some people don't like brioche. Some people oh, won't even go near it and get nervous about it. And some people love it. Me, I've been extremely nervous about stepping up and doing this because... You know, two colour brioche I've been brioche I've been struggling with the workshop. However, Thursday night I hit a speed bump. Thing and Reeves have asked me to whip up a quick screening curtain. I do have the heavy fabric for it that will work. The reason being we decided after last night we need to get roller shutters down that side of the house where there is a kitchen window and a lounge room window. Now the guy um, we spoke to online oh, by his mobile last night said yes he could come and do a quote today but the work on them probably won't start for a month. He snowed under and yes he doesn't have many employees because it's hard to get tradespeople at the moment. So the boy said in the meantime could I make a screening curtain just something straightforward that a rod, rod pocket that could be put up to screen us from the outside world. Um, long story, I won't go into it. 50 years of being married and the only time we've ever had trouble with neighbours is this place. But anyway, yes, I will be sewing that first. So it may only be brioche knitting afternoon. I did say the boys, I need real quiet because I'm just not catch, getting this right. But yes, we will see. Wish me luck. Anyway, it'll be good to do some sewing. I keep saying I'm going to do some and I balk at it. But this is where I've been pushed into at least straight sewing for a, a morning. Until next time, I probably will catch up with you with my um, wig that was Yarn Adventures on Sunday. So check out that video. I'll talk about my trip to the tableland and thrift shop purchases and yarn shop. No, I didn't buy a lot. But guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and maybe you can try one of the free patterns I recommend. This is high on my list. Bye for now.